Hello everybody, welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. We're going to get straight to this reading here. Now this is all about channeled messages that are coming from your ex is that your ex really wants you to know. Now these are the type of messages that sometimes we just have not really told you. We were unable to um, so we're going to go, we're going to get these messages. If you are here, this is a reading for the collective. So if you are here, it is because you have read the title and you have been drawn to this reading for a reason. The reason being spirit wants you to know these are channeled messages that are meant to find you. So let's go and get them for you. We're using over here, um, different Oracle cards and let's go straight for it. Okay. Let's go and get those messages. So these are channeled messages coming from your ex that you need to hear today. First message. I feel as though whatever has happened here within this relationship, there has been an ending and I feel as though that ending is not something that we necessarily wanted. It's not necessarily the type of ending that we would have liked to have had. I'm getting over here that we need to trust the plan. We need to trust the plan that has been sent and sent. The plan, the divine plan that we're on right now, we all make a plan when we're up before we come down to this school that we call Earth. And this is all part of it. And they really want you to know that whatever has happened was, yes, meant to happen. But I don't feel that they wanted to have such an abrupt ending. Right now, I feel as though they are sad. I feel as though they're, they're working on themselves. They're in solitude, as it says right here. This is about being in great solitude. It's about taking a break from everyone and it's just really taking some, you know, some time alone. And I feel as though it's important for you to know this so that you know that they haven't turned the page. They're not gone off with somebody else. They're working on their sadness. You first. This is a really, really interesting message coming on out. Um, this handsome looking man onto this chair here. Now, may this be, you know, a he or a she for you. Um, this is about how we're willing to kind of get back together, if you will. We're willing to, anyways, we're willing to sit down and to assess and to talk about the whole thing. But our ego is so strong. That we're not going to make the first move. No way. This message here, this channeled message coming in for you is saying that, you know what? If you want to contact, if you want to talk, if you want anything to move out of this, out of this pause, out of this separation, you're going to have to make the move first. They're not doing it. Their ego, their, it is way too strong. They're not breaking down that barrier. But if you want to break it down, they're willing to talk. They're willing to open themselves up. They're willing to try and see the other side. See if maybe there could be another opening. Right now, what they're doing is, yes, they're trying to spend some time in solitude. They're also over here in somewhat of a denial. It is just way easier for them to try to hide their feelings right now from you. They're trying to hide these feelings. You know, often it's just easier to just kind of turn the page, right? It hurts less. And I feel like this is what they're doing. I feel as though they're angry also. They're angry over what happened. But they're not angry at you. They're angry at themselves. They're angry for the way that this turned out. They're angry at themselves. Uh, and they're angry. And sometimes... Sometimes they're angry at you. Sometimes they are for the way that things turned out. But mostly they're angry at themselves. They're wondering how they could let this go, you know, to this point. How it could just uh, crumble on down. 
they're really upset. They have a lot of emotions to work through. I feel as though, you know, when I said over here, you first, I feel like within their mind, within their soul, they are trying to plan slowly, slowly, some silent moves. Why silent? Because I told you, they're not coming close. They want you to make that first step. And that happens often, you know, often I get that question, are they going to come closer? Are they... Often, it's not them. Often, you need to make that step. And this is the case. So if you're listening here, this is for you. This is meant to be heard by you. You need to know that they're waiting for you. They're, they seem to be making some silent moves over here. They seem to be doing some things, but um, onto the low side, let me put it that way. They want you to do everything. They want you to know that whatever it is, and this is not for everybody, but for those of you who thought that they were involved into a love triangle, there was no love triangle. They want you to know that this is about taking it slow. It's about taking one step at a time. They want you to know that who they are is who they are. They want you to know that they have not made any modifications yet to themselves. They're waiting. They're waiting to see if you're going to make a move. If you're going to make a move and there can be some compromise, then they are willing to change. They are willing to make those modifications, but they are going to wait to see if you are going to make that move. Make them prove it, you see? They want you to prove that you're interested in them. They want you to prove that you love them, that you want to be with them, that you want to make this work. They want you to know that they have sent you many times unsent messages over here. So unsent messages, you know, we kind of write them out and then we just kind of delete them. This is what's been going on. I feel as though they have written many texts to you, but in the end, they always just kind of chicken out. It all comes back to the fact that they want you to make that move. But they're still angry. They just didn't really want things to end this kind of way. And this is really what they want to tell you. Again, you see, when I was telling you earlier that there was no love triangle, for those of you who this does concern, I'm getting over here. Don't focus on who wants me because I want you. And that's a very important, very strong message coming on out. I have a gift for you. I have something that they want to give you. I've thought about having a family with you. I've thought about having a family with you. So for those of you who thought that maybe they were not necessarily looking, you know, towards a future, towards a grounding while well, they have thought about it, if not while they are with you, now they're thinking about it. This is about not wanting to hide those emotions, not wanting to, uh, just really not wanting to hide those emotions and the way that they feel anymore. They don't necessarily want to speak about it right now because they're not quite ready, but they don't want to hide. They want you to know that they would like to have a second chance. Give me a chance. I regret walking away from you. How strong of a message is that, eh? I regret walking away from you. Hmm. And that, such a strong message. Let's go over here and get a couple little messages out for you. Your ex had some very important messages to give out to you. You were the best thing in my life. Was a card flying out for you. You were the best thing in my life. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. How I wish I could take back my words. 
it was my, it was my fault, but I blamed you. So they're willing to take the, they're willing now, they're figuring out what it is that they have done. There's still a lot of love here. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of wanting to mend things. That being said, I do hope that you enjoyed the reading. If you would like to have a personal reading, my information is right at the bottom of the screen. Also, come and join me into a live reading every day, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I answer all of your questions. Um, wishing you a beautiful day, all my beautiful souls. Thank you so very much for being here with me, for listening to these channel messages from your ex. Uh, please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button. Stay tuned for the following readings. Have yourself the most beautiful day. Thank you for being here.